Hello. Okay, so to turn it, how do you turn it? This one? I think so, yeah. Oh, mirrors are out. That's okay. Hello. We're just waiting for some people to get on here. It is raining, so this is going to be pretty fast. All right, let's give it over to my daughter. Can you zoom out, or what do you need to do? You're good. Okay. So the first method, can you see me? Yes, ma'am. So we're doing this on my porch because it's raining. Go ahead and show them the skies. So we're going to try to get this done. Um, the first method is the Dawn dish soap. Any dish soap can work. It doesn't have to be Dawn. Um, if you're wanting to get a, cu a cup that's already uh, sealed, um, you're going to put the Dawn dish soap anywhere you want, whatever pattern you want to do. And then right after that, you're going to spray it with the spray paint and rinse it off. Why are you smiling? I don't know. Sorry, my daughter is is recording me. <laughs> um, as far as uh, questions, since she's holding the phone, I can't see the questions. I will try to answer if anybody else in the chat can answer. That would be great. If you're watching this on replay and you have questions, just go ahead and tag me if you want me to answer. So, Dawn dish soap. I'm going to pour it on there. Spray paint it. Use water and get it back off. Ready? Tell me when you're ready. No, I'm been ready. When you... Don't forget the butt. <laughs> Have your spray paint ready to go. We're gonna move over to the bushes, my girl. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna get wet for you guys. And this is not working. Oh, there we go. I didn't put my gloves on. Mama. Okay. Get the water. And spray it off. It's a silver video, there you go. I don't think I sprayed the bottom. It just, it, it came off, didn't it? Yeah. Holy crap. It's a little crazy out here. It's a little crazy, sorry you guys. And I don't know if it's because it was wet, or it's because of the alcohol inks, it really didn't stick. So we're gonna have to do that one again, so I'll do a different cup. Your phone's all wet. My phone's all wet? Yeah. You didn't have to step in the rain, silly. I had to get the shots, Mama. Had to get the good shots. Okay. Let's try. We'll try that one again on another live because uh, I think that alcohol ink was causing it to not stick. Let's go ahead and really don't want to. Let's power. Let's. That's the concept of Dawn dish soap. Like I said. It didn't stick well. I don't know if it's because it's raining or um, it's because the alcohol ink, I needed to seal that. But let's go ahead and do the Dawn dish soap. Here's the cup. Where you have the soap is where the spray paint is not going to stick. 
All right, so I'm really gonna spray it right here because I don't want it to stick right there. And everything else, kind of want it kind of spotty. Does anybody have any questions? We got a little break in the rain while I get this ready to go. No questions yet? How many we got? Uh, 18. 18 people. How are you guys doing? Sorry about the rain. I am getting wet for you though. What do you guys think? Black? Or this shiny metallic? Or this blue? I think that's too much blue. I'm not going to do the white again. Maybe I had the wrong paint. Okay, this is just the flat. Um, a Ponte likes flat. Hmm? It's a metallic. You wanted to do the pen metallic? You think the metallic is look? Hell yeah, let's do metallic. All right. And then one person said okay. he used a water So my Walmart paint. didn't have a lot of spray paint, so um, it says it bonds, you know, so we'll see. It, it's just metallic. It says it's bond. We'll see. Let me get this all prepared if you have any more questions. Luckily, we got some break in the rain. Sorry if this is really loud. So if you don't know about spray paint, it separates, so that's why you gotta get that ball moving. It just settles. All right, you guys ready? Once again, I'm gonna spray it where I don't want the metallic to stick. So heavily on that. That's a tattoo, temporary tattoo that you'd put on your body and then spotty around. So we'll see how this goes. Make sure I pick up the metallic. Let my assistant hold the metallic. Move the dawn. All right, let's see. So I don't want that. And then spotty everywhere else. Get over, spray. I think you should like let it dry for a bit, like let it settle. There's no letting it settle. There's no let, oh! what? No, don't let it settle, let it settle, and then you lose your design. Oh. There it goes. And get the water on it. Thankfully, we had a better outcome. Holy crap, I did the wrong way. Sorry, you guys. Hold on. I'm trying to hit my neighbor with the water hose. Okay, let me get back in to where the rain's not here. Whoa. That's so, it didn't get on the temporary tattoo, and it did the spotty because the, the bubbles, sorry, the bubbles... Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Christine said I like that. Yeah, it's a little different, right? What we're trying to do is do something that stands out. There's This is a hobby that a lot of people do. So you want to get something where you stand out. So I'm just trying to get some of the, if there was any bubbles trapping the, the paint. So let's get this in the light. So if I wanted it more, I could come back in and do the same process again. Don't think just because you did it one time, you can't do it again. Okay, is there any questions? We're gonna do one more of those.
If you do need to do it again, wait for that to dry. Do not do, not do it before it's dry because the spray paint's not going to adhere to the water. So that's why I was wondering if that was the problem I had with this first one. I probably could literally dry that off and try it again while I'm still alive since the weather got better. I'm in Texas and it said we weren't going to get this rain till 9 p.m. So anyways, somebody lied. <laughs> so, try not to get my hands all spray paint. I just got excited to start doing this. I'm sorry. Now my hands are a little moist and hard to get on. Oh, I did get spray paint on me. Oh, my mom. <laughs> Any questions? No, ma'am. Okay, so I'm gonna take a step back. If you're wondering how I'm, how these are prepped. So your normal cup, like I said, have it epoxy. I am gonna try um, with one that I have not epoxy to see if it does well. It's to sand it. Okay, this one I kind of messed up on. It's sanded right here. We'll see how that does. Okay, then you're going to get a bag. Are you, mean, are you being nice and stable? Yes, ma'am. You got me a huge bag. Okay, we're really going to protect this thing. <laughs> All right. Daughter found a huge bag. All right. Cover it all. Jam it down in there. Make sure it's good and tight. Your cups need to be clean so it'll adhere to your cup and not just the dust and dirt. I didn't bring my cleaning supply out here. Okay, so this one also has a temporary tattoo on there. All right, so I'm probably, see that, that, that messed up. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and let that get color since it's messed up. All right, so this right here is the temporary tattoo. Everything else I was trying just techniques to see what I like. Okay. Let's do the Dawn dish soap. Okay, question. Do you want me to do the power wash like we just did for this one? Or do you want to do the Dawn dish soap, which we tried to do on the first one? Anybody got an idea on that one? What they want to see on this one, it doesn't matter to me. Dawn dish soap. Dawn dish soap. That's what I was thinking. Metallic again. Let's go for it. Metallic. Was that the metallic? Oh. Yes, it's right. on the rain. All right. Once again, if you didn't catch it before, wherever you put it, it the the spray paint's not going to stick. And then everything else will be spotty. So this one, I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. That's the power wash. What'd she say? Dawn dish soap? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I was doing what I wanted to do. I'm sorry. Okay, see, there's a little spot in here. I need to get that or it's going to come through. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even ask if I was just going to do what I was going to do, right? Ooh, I'm glad you put your clothes on. Right? I would have had that all over me. Okay, looks like it's covered. Get your water on. Get it sprayed off. Hopefully you can see it coming off. Darn big old bag. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I turned it off right this time. What did you go, Mama? 
Okay, let's get in the light. So the colors is popping through on the background. That's what you to where it messed up. Yeah. I got a little bit on the decal, that I mean on the tattoo, that's fine. The bottom looks cool. It's as easy as that, you guys. Just remember it's not gonna stick to wherever the soap is. You want the Dawn dish soap again? Let's see. Let's see if I can get it successful. We're gonna get it successful for you guys. I feel it. Anybody have questions? Sorry, I'm moving around so much. Hopefully I'm not getting you guys nauseous. Try my hardest not to make them nauseous. The, it, I'm making you nauseous? <laughs> no, you're good, mama. Oh. You guys doing okay? It's kind of hard not seeing the comments, you know, seeing that you guys are actually there. I'm just looking at a phone. 26. Okay. So if you weren't here in the beginning, it was raining on me. And we tried, or I tried, we didn't do anything. I tried to do the Dawn dish soap on this and it just didn't it didn't take um, I don't know if it's because I didn't re-epoxy after I alcohol inked but we're gonna try it again I mean why not I dried it hopefully I dried it enough I think we should do a darker paint I did this is black oh okay good. Hang on. okay ready thumbs up ready I already have the spray paint. You should tell me you already have the spray paint. I need the soap. That's what I need. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Show them what happened. She knocked over the light. Not not used to this working environment, you guys. Sorry. All right. Spray paint to my assistant. Oh yes. It's gonna be black. Just flat. Luckily, I could get that. All right, Dawn dish soap. We're just gonna put it on wherever we want it. Don't forget about your butt, unless you want your butt black. If you don't want it on there, then that's fine. Assistant. There you go. Let's get that painted. I pray that it sticks. Just let me know what? That's Arlo, that's steamy. Okay. All right. Get that washed off. What did he use a sponge brush for? Um, I was just trying to get for the sponge, sorry. The question is, what did I use the sponge brush for? I was just testing if it would get off uh, any water bubbles that could be trapping the paint. And it will dry like that and it will dry rough. Okay, so this worked. Um, usually I just pat it with my hands, but since I'm doing so many cups now. Oh, shit. I, sorry. Oh, please forgive me. Children, if you're on here, I'm sorry. I did it the wrong way again. Okay, looks like we got success. Whoever wanted the, uh, the, uh, Dawn dish soap. Looks like it's so fuzzy. I think that's just the white. Wrong way, wrong way. If you're wondering why I keep going the wrong way on that, I know righty tighty lefty loosey, but it's opposite. Um, show the spray paint. If you're doing this with a lot of spray paint, put your color lids back on so you don't grab the wrong one. I know it's a pain to get them off every time, but if you do that, then you won't grab the wrong one. For as far as the brush, um, I usually, can you zoom into the bubbles? 
So see how there's bubbles? So far this is looking good. I will usually just kind of try to, see there's soap right there. Just try to kind of move that. Make sure that nothing is trapped. See, I'm getting some black. So I was trying it with just the brush because I have so many cups to do. Oh, brush. Don't do the brush. It came off. So lightly pat it, pat it. Lightly pat it. We'll just put a decal over that section. That's what that happens with that. That's what's nice to do ready to sell. And uh, this is why you wear gloves. You got more talent on your other hand too. Okay, I'm going to move on to hydro dipping. Is there any questions before I move on to hydro dipping? No questions? But there's 30 people on. We're good? Go to hydro dipping? I know there's a delay. Hydro dipping. Show them the bucket. Doesn't have to be a special bucket, but it's gonna get dirty. So make sure it's a bucket that you don't wanna use again, cause uh, it's gonna get dirty. Um, water, the best water is room temperature, but it's a little bit cold. So I'm gonna have to work fast. I'm doing a live. <laughs> Other child, please excuse him. Um, so it's the, the water, it's not room temperature. It came out of the hose, okay? So I'm gonna move a little bit faster. So what that means is have your product around you, have the cup ready to go, have all the lids out, have your plan. Have Make sure you have a plan, because once you get all the paints in, dip that cup in, swish it around, bring it back out, okay? The more that you let it sit, most of the cups that I just did, that stuff's already dry. It's gonna dry, okay? All right, so if you watched my live a couple days ago, I showed you this cup that I painted. It's just paint. It's not, uh, it's not spray paint. It was a paint from one of the unboxing from um, Crystalette, okay? So it's one of their, their paints that they have. You can go on anything. So this one is not epoxy. It's only the paint. Let's see how it does. The request was purple. There's no purple, you guys. Uh, so the one, I think it was Gloria or Glory, or she requested purples and like silver or gray. There was nothing. Uh, we do have metallic though. We have a metallic. I got the metallic. That's why I got the metallic. But we're actually going to go with, oh, darn lid. We're actually going to go with, um, it's gloss, but we're going to just have to handle it. Uh, reason why I don't like gloss is because epoxy really doesn't like it. But, it's fast dry, oh, it says it's fast drying. And ocean mist. Okay. Yes, I should have pre-shook it. I'm sorry. You pay attention to me, not the cars. We don't need the jumping around and them getting nauseous. And then the other color we're doing, like I said, whatever spray paint they had, it's gloss, soft pink. Uh, another gloss one, so we'll see how it does on their epoxy. You want it kind of dry to do satin, flat, something, something not so glossy. I'm definitely going to have to give it a good pre-sand. My hands are wet. <laughs> My daughter just laughed at me. It flew, you guys. It flew. I'm a hot mess right now. <laughs> Alright, the cup. What I just taught you. Put the bag, right? Make sure you have a place to sit it or you're just standing there with it. So, this I made from the plumbing section. Um, the one that you just saw came with the unboxing, that turner. Can you see it? Yes, ma'am. Without ruining the cup. Um, you need somewhere to sit it. A rack. I know Meredith has a rack that she drives her cups on. Um, my husband's made me racks. Are they laughing at me for being no. a hot mess? Heather went pop goes really. Oh, <laughs> I mean it flew. <laughs> it flew. 
But damn it, I got, excuse me, I got it off. You want to show it where it went? Right there. <laughs> okay, if you're new to shaking, you're probably not, but I'm not going to assume anything. If it's pretty easy that that ball is really moving in there, you're probably pretty good to go ahead and use it. You don't hear the ball smacking like on this one. So this one's not ready. You barely hear it, right? Use your ears. I'm already sweating, you guys. You guys got me all nervous. Woo. Everybody having a good day? It was one of those gloomy days here. Everybody was tired. Even my animals were acting weird. I don't know. Yeah, we did get rain. And you know, it was just for that couple seconds with that cup. So we'll see if we get more rain. Okay, so these two colors, and we're going to mix it with the metallic as well. Do you want to do black? Oh, no, sorry. Black's not, well, black's on the cup. You can do white too. Three colors. I like to do three colors. You can do whatever you want. Same. If I don't like how it comes out, let it dry. Do it again. These cups don't like to stand up on this brick. Okay, we're going to bring back our... Pop didn't go the weasel on that one. Alright, so you're going to get it ready. Get your colors ready. Get everything by you. You guys ready for this? Hit it. Okay, that metallic's kind of over overbearing the colors, so I'm gonna add the other colors back in. I didn't want so much metallic. All right, go in at an angle. Slowly, okay, and then shake. Whoop. All right, so, didn't like it. But that's the concept. This is where the bubbles really get trapped. So you want to pat bubbles down. Okay, maybe the silver was too much. I don't know, but I can't go back in this right now. You can see I went a little bit fast. You see the black showing through so much, all right? It might have looked better on a white cup, not sure. So we're just gonna go ahead and let this sit and then redo it, maybe do another live. Let's go ahead and we didn't bring a stick to clean up. We didn't bring a stick, did we? No. Do you want to hold this real quick and I'll go get a stick? Okay. I'm going to turn it to me. Okay, so once you have the spray paint in the bucket, you need to clean it out before you do the next one. More twist motion, yeah. I could have done a more twist motion. The reason why I didn't, I normally don't do it in this bucket. I do it in a bigger bucket. I was worried I was going to hit the sides. So we couldn't find the other bucket, and with the rain, it was a, it was a no-go searching for it. So um, once you had a glitter sparkle and epoxy. Um, okay, so that was a, still a good test because I wanted to test out that, uh, see if my glove finger will work. I wanted to test out, since I didn't epoxy it, would it even adhere to it and how it did, how, how it did. So I don't like it, but it's okay. Um, with every training, there's always oopsies. So you saw, I don't like it. Okay, so she just got a wood paint stick. This is my daughter doing this right now. And 
just trying to get up that paint. It's already it's already dry. Um, it could be that we have too cold of water. Also, we'll see. I'm gonna do some different colors, different cups. We'll see if we can get a good one. It should have flat instead of gloss. They are all different and beautiful. No one ever will be able to duplicate this. You're right. You're right, Charity. You're right. You never know what you're going to get with hydro dipping. And as far as that residue, you're really probably not going to get all that residue out of there. Um, if you're not going to use the same colors, you dump it and put more water in it. But when I tell you you're going to ruin your bucket, you see the edge, it's all nasty. Ooh, the stick. Stick's all nasty. It's all nasty. Okay. We're going to put this. Just put it on that bag over there. Imperfectly per imperfect. I like that. Thank you. Yep. Yep. It could be something. Who knows? But I probably will redo it. All right. Let's try some different colors. Let's see if we can get something better. Uh, we'll do the twist. I'll try to do the twist that you suggested. Um, like I said, this is a small bucket, so we'll, uh, we'll see. If, okay, so real quick, this black came through because there was no paint. If you want the color of the cup to come through, you're need, you need to spray in clear when you're doing all the spray paint in the water. Because wherever the clear is, you'll get the cup color through. Alright, this is Seaside Satin. Mix some Seaside in there. Maybe some navy. We'll get some blues going in here. I'm not going to do the metallic this time. Like I told you, put your caps on so you grab the right paint. This particular one didn't have a cap on, but this is Midnight Blue Satin. We're not going to do the pink. Pink, yeah, you're right. The, the lid's way over there. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a neat thing, huh? All right. This is a Walmart cup, $4.88 or something, so it's good to practice on because it's only $4. Um, I just sanded it down. It was already blue. Okay, so it has no epoxy on it, so let's see what it does. You guys ready? Ooh, I love that color. You want to have a well-ventilated uh, area. This is not ideal where I'm at right now. Oh. Woo! Mama. Calm down. What you doing, Michelle? Woo! You didn't know my name's Michelle. And I went a little crazy. Got the angle wrong or something. My blue kind of went to the edge. See if we can get in there. No. Woo! It's fighting me. You went fast again. I went, I didn't go fast again. Yeah, look. He got through it. That's okay. Okay, so this was not a epoxy cup. All the epoxy cups that I've done, I mean, every hydro dip I've done, they've been epoxied. I was just trying to get this live for you. Okay, so I do have bubbles that I want you guys to see. This is what I was talking about earlier. All right, let me get my daughter to get in here. It is a, it is a water bubble with the paint on top. You don't want that drying like that. So I just kind of see how it did it. When I try to, okay. So, don't just store your cups after you hydro dip. You gotta take a look at them. You gotta get those 
See, now this one's fine. You can see it's just water. Can you guys see that okay? This one, look, it's got spray paint on the top. Okay, it's not going to dry well. You're going to get the bubbly effect. It's not what you're wanting. If it is what you're wanting, leave it. I don't like it. There's some sections you'll, you guys might really like and some sections you might not like. You can do other things with the cup if you don't like it. You can rehydro dip it. I really like that part with the blue. You understand what I said about the bubbles? Everybody clear on that? If I were to re-dip this right now, everything that's wet, it won't stick to. So don't do that. The bottom turned out really nice. Oh, that is nice. Okay. Any methods you want to see one more time? Now that I'm all messy. Any cups you want to see again? Anything? Before I tell you how I did everything again. Anybody answering? Uh, someone said hydro. You want more hydro? <laughs> Why is hydro so fascinating? Because you just never know what you're going to get? All right. That's hydro. Um... If you're if you like to pick things like I do, this is very satisfying actually. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> she said please. <laughs> Alright. I have one cup left. I'll hydro dip it. It's not epoxied either. It's just the cup as it was at Walmart. I just sanded it. Oh no, I Okay, I did something else to that cup. You put paint on it? Yeah, I put paint on it. Will it work? Um, yeah, it should, it should be fine. So, I used Counter Culture DIY Metallic Pigment. Put that on that cup. Just to see how it looked. Alright. So if you guys remember what I said, if you want some of that to come come through on the cup, sorry, sweating, damn humid outside. Um, if you want something to come, the color of the cup to come through, you need to add in the clear when you're spraying. Add in the clear. Wherever that clear is, you're going to see the color of the cup. The reason why I'm telling you this is, if you mix some colors, it might make a different color. So I like the red, white, and blue because that's our, that's uh, of course it's America, but it's also a team that we used to have in Houston, the Houston Oilers. Well, that baby blue and that red like to come together and make purple. So I paint the cup one color and then only do the other two colors when I hydro dip with the clear. So when the clear hits the cup, it's going to be the red. So if I'm trying to mix the red and the blue on the cup, if I have the red spray paint, it's whatever you have available because, you know, times are rough right now with spray paint. Apparently it's like a, you know, anyways, um, I was going to say drug. <laughs> you just can't get it. Um, so paint the whole cup red. I don't do that. I actually paint the whole cup um, the lighter blue and then I put the red and the clear and the white on top that's how I do that but I've done it a couple different ways to see because red is so powerful once that blue comes on there it's not gonna be that baby blue anymore you have a question okay so just kind of think about how the colors are gonna react with this base color so these colors might look different once they get on this cup this would have looked a whole lot different on a white base. It just would have. That black is overpowering, and that's why it turned out like that. So, 
All right, we ready to do this one? Okay, um, colors. We've been doing the same kind of colors. Let's see. I'm hot. Hmm. We already got a lot of blue in there. In our bucket. You guys probably want to see different colors. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. I don't know if I caught that. See, that's what sticks on your cup. Okay, I think I got it clean enough. Let's get this baby pink back out. Let's see. I want to do some of this baby pink again. Careful. Try not to. See, as you put the colors in, you'll see other colors kind of leave. So you really got to watch what design you have in here. They'll go to the edge and the leaves. So now I have a lot of space. If I cupped it, if I dipped it right now, that would all be that gold that's on the cup because there's no paint there. So really watch what you're doing. Oop. Definitely spray the right area. Okay. You want a good layer so it can cover the entire that's just not coming out there we go some people make designs with it after it's already in the water Why won't you spray? Ooh, I'm taking too long. I don't know about that pink. Well, that's cute. I think you should keep it like that. Keep it like that, but I like some. This navy would actually work. Kind of back away. Slow mama. No, it's not going right. See, that actually, the one side looks pretty. Okay, so your bay's being so powerful, you're going to lose the coloring. Like, it, it looked amazing in there, but that gold was so powerful. Are you videoing it? Oh, sorry. My foot was falling asleep. Your foot's falling asleep. I'm bending now. Okay, see, this is just regular water. I'm not worried about that. These, see how you see a bump? That means the water is trapped underneath the spray paint. Oh, this is pretty. That's just water. Do you want the sponge? Mm -mm. I was just trying out the sponge. I didn't, I didn't like it. I was just trying. Okay, it's a little different, right? You could come and do another technique that we just did tonight on here too. You could do the uh, uh, power wash on it once it's dry. All right. That is all the cups I have. Thank you guys for joining me. My name is Michelle from Tumblr's Beginners to Advance. Is there a question? Mm -hmm. It says, can you do a video of deciding what decals you, you to put on? Okay, yes. Um, I am your admin. I know you see me as Victoria Shellbell. That's just because I'm in disguise for the trolls that come into our group. 
Um, but my name is Michelle, so if you ever reach out to me, my name is Michelle. I'm not a weird Shell Bell last name. Um, so I will um, continue on with the cups I did on both lives and show the completion. So the next live I will do putting on, um, I'll go ahead and prep it with the epoxy for one and for crystal lac for another one. And then I will do um, on the third one at least, or fourth one, third and fourth, I'll do a regular vinyl decal, um, a water slide, and then tissue paper, or tissue paper, one of one, of, I don't know, both. Um, I've already done um, tattoos on a live, but if you want that as well. So if you have suggestions of what you want to see, leave it in the comments, tag me, Victoria Shellbell, like I said, and uh, it'll tell me that you want to talk to me or reach out to me. Is there any final questions before I head out and get in the AC? <laughs> no questions? Let's go for it though. All right, well thank you. I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, sorry it was a mad crazy house here with uh, being on my porch and the weather, so thank you. See you again.